Once AMD announced that they were locating in our district in Malta, which is in our school district, it seemed like an obvious place to start. As math, science, technology teachers, we need to be a little bit more conversant in what's going on here, but we need to be able to direct our students in the right direction, uh, help them get some focus, let them know that they do in fact have a future in nanotechnology. They don't have to be PhD candidates, they don't even have to be master's candidates. We have plenty of children who go to two-year colleges, um, more technical oriented uh, careers that could be part of, this could be part of their future. Wow. <laughs> we knew it was going to be pretty impressive, but I think I was not remotely prepared for what we were shown there, the size, the scale, the, uh, the activity, the numbers of companies that are working in that one space. It was very impressive. When I was listening to the presentation, I was very impressed with the breadth and the scope of careers, products, industries that are currently engaged in nanotechnology and also the future of nanotechnology. I think that was very impressive. Certainly we can start talking to our students about this. This is what's down the road from us. This is what's moving into our neighborhood. These are the kinds of things you could be thinking about for your future. It is not just for the geeks, it's for everybody.